Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna find out can you upgrade your Tel XPS 137390 or what you actually can upgrade on it and of course we're gonna have a closer look on the components and obviously you're gonna see how you can open up this uh, little machine as well. You need a kind of a special little screwdriver like I'm using there, it's called Torx T5. I'm gonna leave the link in the description if you're looking for a similar or same one. That's a great tool by the way, 57 in one, so it's gonna be useful for other little jobs as well. You have to remove all the screws from the back panel. They're all the same size, so you don't have to separate them from each other. Just don't lose them maybe. And back panel comes off easy enough. Uh, just maybe under a minute and you should have it off. There we go, I'm using a little plastic tool like that there. If you don't have, I recommend even just use your fingers or something plasticky. Don't use knives or anything made out of metal. You're just gonna damage your laptop or you're gonna leave the ugly marks on it itself or even worse, you can damage your fingers if you use a knife or anything like that. Back panel comes off easy enough. You just have to put little pressure there and as I said before, under a minute, then you should have it off. There we go, it's done. Just a little closer look now. There we go, part numbers, everything there. Gonna have a little closer look on the inside of the panel as well. Just in case, I don't know, you may be looking for spare, whatever. It's nice to know these things. There we go, upgradable a little bit. RAM is not upgradable. That's your battery. We're gonna go through the components and we're gonna have a closer look as well. As I said before, RAM is soldered on the motherboard. This specific laptop now has uh, 16 gigs of RAM. So if you if your laptop came with 8 gigabyte, you're stuck with 8. This is 16, so great. Solid state drive there. This is upgradable and we will upgrade that in a minute to one terabyte. That's your CPU under that there, it's Core i7, 10th generation, and your laptop could have a different configuration, different CPU, that's the very specific for this model or laptop now. That's your CPU fan. That's your Wi-Fi card, by the way, soldered to motherboard as well. Great Wi-Fi card, but uh, Wi-Fi slash Bluetooth, but you can't change that, uh, it is soldered, so bad, bad news if, it, if anything happens to that uh, you kind of have to replace the motherboard, uh, unless you're really good at soldering. There you go, closer look at battery now. Battery connection there as well. The great little laptops. Just as for upgradability. Not very upgradable, but still good news. Solid state drive can be changed or upgraded. Here's a closer look again now on components that your Wi-Fi card under there. The speakers, of course. Okay, we are ready to upgrade. First things first, now you probably you should disconnect the battery. I didn't do it, it was okay, but I do recommend it for safety anyway. You have to use the standard Phillips screwdriver now to get to the solid state drive. So basically for this job now, if you're planning to upgrade your solid state drive, you do need two different screwdrivers. That's your little screw there holding that uh, heat sink in place. At the moment, there's a 512 gigs in it. Good drive as well. One terabyte obviously is better, but still. And uh, one thing now, if you are upgrading your solid state drive, you will have to uh, reinstall your windows on it. So just a uh, little information there for you. If you're not sure how to install, there's a million and one uh, little tutorials on YouTube. So it should be easy enough now. And that's the drive that's gonna go in. One terabyte Samsung 970 Evo Plus. Great drives, used them many times before, so I can recommend them. There's better, faster ones now out there, but I have this, I'm using that, so... Of course, I'm gonna leave the link in the description if you're looking for the same one.
push it gently in there. Same thing, you know, the heatsink will go back on and screw back in and that's it, you're upgrading done. Sadly, as I said before, only thing you can really upgrade on this machine is the solid state drive. RAM is not upgradable. Also bad news with Wi-Fi card, of course, that seems to be the future now with a lot of the laptops anyway. Everything is soldered to motherboards, so God help, anything will go wrong. You'll have to change the old motherboard just for a little component. That's it, upgrading done. I'm gonna close the back panel and in a minute I'm gonna boot into Windows and go over a few specs there. Just very briefly now, not gonna go into detail at all, just to show you what this machine has. And as I said before, your, your laptop could have a little different uh, specifications. And swap the screwdriver again. And as I said, I'm gonna leave the link in the description. Great ones, they're cheap as, as well, so you can afford them and it's going to be useful either way sooner or later okay that's it now just um, obviously after reinstalling windows now here we are and just going to go over very briefly now what's happening here Okay, right click on it and go to properties just to show you the RAM and CPU there and that's your model number there XPS 13 7390 the Core i7 16 gigs as you see your machine could come with 8 gigs so sadly you're stuck with that I'm lucky enough there was 16 gigs on it so it's always how much you're willing to pay that's what you get as well I'm gonna go to task manager just for a second as well There you go, that's your Samsung 970 EVO Plus. It's working. Great drives, as I said before. Cheap enough upgrade as well. So, yeah, I can recommend, definitely. Haven't tried 2 terabyte on it. I presume it will work, no problem. If you have, leave a, leave a little comment there. There we go, more specs here, just very briefly. And... That's pretty much it guys, hopefully this was helpful now, sorry for bad news I suppose, not everything is upgradable, but still, as much as we could be upgraded, and if you liked the video, if it was helpful, do subscribe, and uh, press the thumbs up obviously as well, so thank you very much, and you know what, have the best life possible, bye bye.